what is up fishing Alex on today's video we are fishing the KBT first match for the Midwest we're in Banner Marsh and I have 10 minutes for lines in and I gotta take a mad crap but uh, there's a couple of guys in my area so I'm gonna squeeze it in so stay tuned hopefully we can repeat what was happening yesterday I, I got pretty good fish. Hopefully we'll get on them. Let's go get our fix on. Look at this. How is that for a first fish? How is that for a first fish? How is that for a first fish? Look at this. How is that for a first fish? All right, Alex, 10 minutes into the tournament. Oh boy, we're gonna be on them. I hope so, we're gonna be on them.
There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, I'm about to put it on the board and find out. 15 inch or maybe? Uh, I doubt, but it's a fish. Take it down, no rush. Yeah, it looks like 50 and a quarter. safety net going over here. everyone right now looks like i have a little service issue momentarily here but hopefully we'll get back here in just a second um i'm keeping an eye on russ's uh video to see what his fish measures so as soon as he gets his measured uh, we'll take a look at its what it measures here Can you guys see me or no? Did you say you're in Gettysburg right now? I was in Gettysburg yesterday morning, yeah, so... Uh, All right. Can you guys see me? Russ here. Let's see what he's got. That's a nice, healthy 15 right here. Russ, where'd that one go? 15. It's a nice... So that's all right. We'll figure it out. We'll look at the... Yeah, it's a nice, thick, thick one. Pretty fish, pretty fish. So. All right. I don't know if you guys can see. Is the camera a little bit muddy? Finding that average. Yeah, I think one seventy to one eighty is probably a pretty good number right now. And 
kind of fish. Although, again, there's places where you've seen some big fish where you could put up there we uh, go. absolute giant numbers. So, oh, you know, this, this is a good one. All the fish that I've seen, good so one, I good one. And this is a good one. It'll be a lot. There we go. Comments and yeah, I, th I think Zach, you nailed it, man. I mean, I think you know the caliber of the anglers. I mean, the fact that you know the, the beauty is too. I mean, in the at a bare minimum, you got four anglers on the water, so you're gonna have four guys that break down the water. Now there may be events where you know some additional guys travel and can help with practice. So you, I mean, you could have up to ten guys practice. There's nothing that says you can't do that. Um, you know, you could have extra guys break down the body water. Um, obviously, it depends on the size of the body water, but just the caliber of our anglers, the skill, the fact that you can break it down together as a team, um, divide and conquer. Oh, Russ has got another nice one up here. Let's check this guy out. Oh, yeah. Look fatty. at this. A little pre spawn fatty. It's a good looking fish, Russ. We'll uh, let you do your thing. So you see uh, Russ's net there again, I mentioned before. Uh, we'll take him off screen and uh, let him measure his fish and get back with us. But yeah, like, like Zach was saying, man, just, just the ability to have, you know, rely on your team, um, you know, at the caliber of these anglers, where you're going to find fish, you're going to know through, a, you know, a couple of days of practice, you know, what the average size fish should be, you know, hey, is, is a 20 inch or a unicorn, is, is there a place where you catch a ton of 15 inches? Should we leave a whole area alone and stuff in but little 12 inches? I mean, that's all these decisions that go into this type of fishing. So, but I, I think it's, you know, that one, 180 is always that good target. Um, you know, I always feel like if, if you exceed that, no matter what body of water on your, in the country, you got to stand a chance to, to win in that event. Um, you know, I know we fished an event two years ago, um, 18 and a half inch average for our team and uh in second <laughs> kind of a tough blow um because you figure you got it locked at that point but again everyone in this league is a hammer so you know you're, you're never safe that's for sure uh, sean borsma uh yeah so that's nothing so this is uh you know for the north region uh, they are fishing the same body of water this morning they're fishing banner from water uh, an impoundment off the Illinois River. Um, and that's a change, you know, last year, you know, navigating um, a, kind of a tough off season and some of the teams that were in actually had to fish home lake. Um, I think they fished maybe six events, I think maybe four of them were home bodies of water and then they came together on two. Um, so that was the freedom of the league. Um, we were allowed to do that. In the East region, as you know, we decided to all fish the same body of water. Let me get Russ back in here to see if uh, that will measure that. This one is uh, 16 and a quarter. I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. 16 and a quarter. Look at the belly on this. Look at the belly. It's a nice female. Ready to do their thing. Like I said before, you can see Russ's net there. Kind of protecting that fish from jumping off. He's got his catch board. He's got his ID. Yeah, I saw. angle. All those things go into it. A couple of years back, I, w I was doing an online tournament for uh, KBF, and I had a 23.75. Oh, it's not connected very well. I, I noticed last time I had something to work on. Oh. I think uh, when, you measure a fish, like when you're not measuring a fish, it sounds great. When you go to measure a fish, I don't know if it's because the phone's repositioned or something, but it's a little, the audio goes out a little bit. So just FYI. Can you guys hear me?
Got another one. Look at this. Little munchkin. I think I was talking y'all through Russ's catch there and uh, may not have hurt me. But uh, yeah, just Russ was checking. I uh, got the fish on the board just to give a quick check. Like I said, they're, they're calling out for a team a 13 and a quarter. So if it was 13 and a half or bigger, he was going to take that photo and submit it for his team. Um, he may have chosen to submit it on his own behalf too for his personal stats, um, which is fine. But it looked like that fish was just going to help them uh, maybe by a half inch or so. We'll see what it hits the board. Back and watch George's feet here. So George, I've, I've been noticing it seems like most guys are, are probably power fishing, not you know crazy power fishing. I've seen some moving baits. Um, has that kind of been the mo throughout the practice? Have y'all planned to switch up, maybe some finesse stuff, or just kind of feeling it out as you go? I got a mix, you know, you go through an area with your moving bait and then break it down a little bit more with other stuff. And I've got four rods I'm using right now for, for different things, but with the way the, uh, just the conditions are right now, just trying to maybe identify and search and find something to give a little sniff. I just had a few minutes ago. Uh, a musky whack, and so fortunate to keep my with my bait. Uh, I needed quite a few this week. Yeah, that's tough. Alright, uh, can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? It's Russ's fish again. Get him off mute. Here we go. This one is measured 14, but it identifies as a 20 inch. Definitely a healthy stock of fish in this body of water for sure. Good looking fish. Yeah. For sure. All right, guys. Small recap. Mid tournament. Live stream just ended. So I'm fishing all the shorelines. Three feet from the shore, the muck stops. And that's where I've been catching my fish. And uh, so far, we're winning. And I'm quarter inch from uh, Big Fish. So one of our members uh, from the Bass Map, he has uh, almost 19er. But uh, hopefully, uh, we'll make something happen. So far, we're leading by, I don't know, 10, 15 inches. But you never know if they're sandbagging or not. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned. And I know the audio is going to be crap on this video. I forgot both of my mics. Well, I forgot one of them at the house, and I forgot the other one uh, in my car. I was a bit nervous. Um, had First day was pretty crappy. The second day was a lot of wind. I managed to find some fish, and I caught four big ones and i stopped fishing i went exploring another area that i thought we might do good um it wasn't and uh, i came back to the second prime area this this area is not accessible by boat the entrance is about a foot deep and uh i don't see any kayakers that uh, uh that are here so i worked it pretty good i'm gonna go back to spot number one 
and then uh, try to make something happen for the team. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll win. Like I said, they, you, we'll never know. But uh, I'll do some uh, some uh, interviews with uh, other members, ambassadors, and the berserkers. Big shout out to them. They uh, especially for the ambassadors. They had six seven hour drive over here to fish. Uh, pretty windy, shitty conditions. Um, yesterday was uh, twenty plus miles an hour winds. Today it's uh, bluebird skies. It's tough for everyone. Uh, but uh, I'm I'm pretty confident we're gonna win. So I'm charging my phone right now. It was in the live stream and overheated. I'm gonna get some uh, uh, some uh, charge on it, and uh, I'm gonna head out to the other area. This one is on a chatterbait. I don't think it's going to help. Alright guys. This one is on a chatterbait. I don't think it's going to help. Beautiful colors on this. Yeah, not bad. Thirteen and a half. Extra energy out. Sometimes you gotta do that for these small ones. Nice little thirteen and a half. Let's put it on the board.
Oh, this is a nice big female. Well, not that big, but has a pretty nice belly. Look at that. Look at that. KBT tournament. Look at that. Look at the belly on this. Look at that. It's a nice and healthy one. Got it right off the stump on a chatterbait. Man, we are killing it. We are killing it. Right, guys <clears throat> the tournament is over looks like uh, the bass mob kicked some ass uh, we got one of the clubs over here with this uh, chitty chatting going over uh, what we did having some good time and the other club uh, from Illinois I guess sore losers they didn't show up to the meeting uh, they suck pretty bad even though they're probably an hour away most of those guys are probably an hour away from this league but uh it, w it was pretty pretty interesting day to say uh had mixed feelings starting up uh i i was really really optimistic but uh when i saw people on my spot and uh, it was like four or five boats on one area where I was catching them on day two. But uh, look at the trailer. Look at what I had to do to get my kayak out of the water. It's all this muck. He made fishing extremely tough. Um, and all the fish were right in front of it or in it. So pretty much they getting uh, they staging for spawn or, or uh, whatever. But... Overall, it was a pretty good day. Darren kicked some ass big time. He, I mean, he's a champ. What can I say? You can learn a lot from him. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I didn't talk much. Um, the show was live, so 
I don't think I'm gonna be doing. Uh, I'm gonna be recording tournaments uh, when I when we're doing live and stuff. But I don't know. It's it's up in the air right now. I got some technical difficulties. I gotta figure out um, that I had today. Gotta figure a couple of stuff out. Uh, fix my uh, hubs. I gotta repack and all that stuff. They're leaking grease. But uh, they have a little bit of play. I don't know. Overall, I'm pretty happy we won. And uh, next step is uh, Clinton. We're gonna go with the berserkers on their home lake. And we'll probably show them how to fish. You know, get some, uh, can learn some from us. That's it, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one.